Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song of fing on fingerstyle guitar. Now, this is a really popular version, and this is an arrangement by Wolfgang Recken, also popularized by Sunga Jung. And we're going to learn how to play this one step by step. Now, my guitar is in standard tuning. I'm not sure if um, the original version is supposed to have a change in the top string. Uh, but whatever the change there is, I've tried to convert it into standard tuning. Okay, so E A D G B E standard tuning. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so the first part that we're going to learn is this. Okay, that's what, what we're going to learn first, and then everything else. So, starting off on D minor. You have 2nd fret on 3rd string, 1st fret on 2nd string, and then 3rd fret on 2nd string. Along with that, you're going to pick 4th string open. So, on skin, and then, so you're going to pick that 3rd fret once again on 2nd string, and then open on fourth string. So, okay. Then you have third fret on second string and open on the first string. All in all, okay. We come over here once again. So this will be your B flat chord, okay? And over here you need first fret on the fifth string, and you have third fret on second string, and first fret again on the first string. That's why you have a bar over here, okay? So first fret. First string, third fret, second string, and first fret on fifth string. And even though I'm placing my ring finger over here, but I'm not really playing it. Okay, so we're playing fifth string, second string, and first string, picking them all three strings together. So after picking all three strings together, you pick first two strings individually, and then you pick fifth string so on skin and then one and three on the first string so like that all right now come to C major So over here you need 3rd fret on the 5th string and 1st fret on 2nd string. Alright, I'm not really using the middle finger over here. 1st uh, string is open. So here I'm picking one skin, 1st 2 strings and the bass note which is on the 5th string, all 3 strings picking together. Then pick 1st 2 strings together, pick the bass note, so. and one on the second string so that's what we've learned so far and now so here what we're doing is we're picking fourth string open Along with that, we're going to do a hammer-on from 1 to 3 on the 2nd string. Right after doing that, we're going to pick 2 more times on that 4th string open. Okay. going to repeat everything that we've learned from the beginning once again. Now when I 
to show you something over here. The second time around when we did this, you can do instead of, you can do, so instead of the, you know, the hammer down, you can straight up, straight away go to um, third fret on second string along with that fourth string open and then two more times on the fourth string. Okay, so once again, first time around. And the second time. Okay, so instead of, you can do. Okay, so that's an, an option that you can do. Now the next time, next uh, part that we're going to learn, we'll go like this. So the starting is the same, third fret on third string, first fret on second string, then open on fourth string and third fret on second string pick together, okay, then once again third fret on second string, open on fourth string, so, then third fret on second string and open on first string, so, skin and now so this is going to be third fret on the first string and the top string sixth string okay uh, going to pick both of those strings together then pick first string and top string separately so and three and five on the first string okay so from here Skin. So this is going to be open on the fifth string and you've got sixth fret on the first string. Play both of those two strings together. Pick first string by itself, fifth string by itself. So then you have five and three on the first string. So okay, so from over here. This is going to be open on fourth string and fifth fret on the first string, pick them together, then third fret on second string, so, and then fourth string open again, so, so from over here. Okay, and now you come over here. Skin. So this is going to be third fret on second string, open on first string, then first fret on fifth string and first first string pick together, then first string by itself, fifth string by itself, so. Third fret on first string, and then you have fifth fret on first string and fourth string open, pick together. Then third fret on second string, and then open on fourth string again. So, okay, so let's take it from the beginning over here. This is going to be three and six on the second string. Okay. Then open on first string and fifth string pick together. 
fourth string by itself, fifth string by itself, so. And then first fret on the first string, so. And then A major chord. And just strum it down. Or you can do it like that. This is how Fremen goes strumming, uh, where you do this sort of thing, where you go uh, your third string, sorry, third finger, second finger, and first finger, and you strum like that. Okay, so you like that. Okay, so it will come with practice. So if you don't want to do that, you can just do a simple strum. Sometimes I, I do the flamenco version, and sometimes I just do a normal strum. Okay, so uh, let's review what we've learned uh, from this part. going to happen is everything that we've learned from the beginning for this arrangement we're just going to repeat all over again except that in the very end there will be a little change which I want to explain to you right now so instead of doing you know when we did this this is where we ended it right instead of that you can do so this is the same was the first time and then let me show you how to play this little part first and then I'm gonna you know play through the whole uh, arrangement so same thing third fret and sixth fret on second string and then open and open on first to first string and fifth string together and first string by itself fifth string by itself so then three and one on second string and then you've got open on fourth string second fret on the third string third fret on second string pick all three strings together two times so first time was second time when you repeat the whole thing and then you come towards the end you do Okay, now I'm gonna play through the entire arrangement that we've learned till this point. I'm gonna go slow so you can see everything that's happening. Part. Now repeat everything all over again. Okay, so you saw the little change that we made in the end. Okay, now we come to the next part of the arrangement. So during the very ending in the last part, we were on over here on D minor and we did this two times. So taking from there, we go into the next part. So so as I said before, you can do that uh, thing on D minor two times. You can just uh, pick two times over here. Okay, that's where we left and now come to C major so third fret on fifth string first fret on second string open on first string and you're going to pick fifth string second string and first string together so two times D minor C and two times on B flat so first fret on fifth string third fret on second string and first fret again on the first string times then third fret on first string okay so and now this is basically your A major you, you, you instead of open on first string you're going to have fifth fret on the first string 
which is why you're gonna have to have a bar over here with the help of your index finger on second fret or fourth string third string and second string a fifth string is open and on first string there's fifth fret okay just strum over there or you can do this okay and then so that's going to be fifth fret on second string you can still have to hold on to that bar over here and then second fret on second string and then that's going to be open on fifth string and second fret on third string okay so and now same thing and just that you'll move this position one fret up so the bar moves to the third fret and this little finger moves to the sixth fret okay so strum over here then sixth fret on second string third fret and second fret on third string and open still open on second string on fifth string sorry okay So that's going to be open on 5th string, 2nd fret on 4th string and 3rd string. You can just strum with the help of your index finger 2 times. Then move this shape 1 fret up. Okay, so 3rd fret on 4th string and 3rd string. Then come back to 2nd fret. So, like that. Okay. Okay, the next part that we're going to learn is this. Okay, so this is going to be open on the 4th string and you have 6th fret on 2nd string and 5th fret on the 1st string. Okay, pick 3 strings together. 1, 2, 3. 3 times. So, 1, 2, 3. Then you have uh, you got 5th fret on the 1st string. With the help of your ring finger, you're going to add one more fret over here. So that's 6 and 6 on 1st and 2nd strings. Just one time. And then go back to fifth fret on first string. So da, 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 like that. And over here you have third fret on fifth string and first string. One, two, three, four times. So one, two, three, four. And then immediately afterwards you have to move two frets up. So like that. So from the beginning. And uh, yeah, in, the, in between, you can do a little slap over here with the help of your thumb. You know, a slap on the top string. So now go back to this leg over here. Okay, in the very end, you're going to do this. So this is basically you're using the two fingers to place them on fifth fret of fifth string and fourth string. Okay, go two frets down on third fret, two, one fret down on the second fret, and then open and open on fifth and fourth strings. Okay, so. Alright. Now the next part that we learn will be this. Okay, so it starts with. So this is going to be third fret on second string. Open on first string. Okay. Then open on fourth string and first fret on first string. Pick together. Then second fret on third string. So. And three and five on the first string. Okay. skin and then so this is three and three on fifth string and first string picked together then one and open on the first string 
있어요. So this is going to be one and one on top string and first string picked together. Then three and five on the first string. And then three and three on the fifth string and first string we have. So from the beginning on this part. Okay, once again. This is going to be open in between over here. You're going to play open on third string and then one and three on first string. Okay, so. Okay, and then. So this is going to be fifth fret on the first string and along with that you're going to play open on fourth string. Open on third string. And then three and one on first string. Okay. Let's see what we've done so far. And now, so this is open on first, fifth string, and open on first string played together. Then one and open on first string. And now. So this is going to be open on 4th string and 3rd fret on 2nd string picked together and 2nd fret on 3rd string, okay, open on 1st string, okay, then 1 on 2nd string and 3rd fret on 2nd string along with that open on 4th string, so, okay, once again, So from the start on this part, all right. Now, okay. So that completes, you know, the, the first segment. Now the next segment will go like this. That's how it's gonna start. You start again with third fret on second string, open on first string, and then. So this is going to be first fret on first string, open on fourth string, pick together. Then third fret, second string, okay. And then open and first fret on the first string. So. Okay. So three and three on fifth string and first string, then one and three on first string. Okay, so from the start. And then open on fifth string, fifth fret on first string pick together. Okay. And three and one on first string. And then B flat chord. So first fret on fifth string, third fret and third fret on third string and second string picked together. Okay, so from the start for the second segment. Okay, and now. So this is going to be third fret on second string, open on first string. Then one, three, five on first string. So, and then, so this is going to be third fret on top string, sixth fret on first string picked together. And then third fret on second string and first string. Okay, so. And you have to lift the fingers because you want to give that mute effect right after that. So, like that. Okay, you don't have to go. 
Mm. Okay, just lift your fingers a little. And then go to the next part. Okay, that's the next part. Once again. So this is open on first string, sorry, first fret on first string, and open on fourth string, pick together. Then three and open on first string, okay? And then third fret on second string, open on fourth string, pick together. Okay, so. Okay. And then, so this is going to be second fret on third string, third fret on second string, and open on first string. So, like that. So, let me go to the next part of uh, this arrangement. Okay, so we've learned a very important part the whole part in this arrangement where we had two segments and there was a change in the second segment okay so let's review everything review everything let's play the first segment and then the second segment so it started like this part of this arrangement so let's learn that all right so the next part goes like this okay so you've got fifth fret on the first string you've got sixth fret on second string and you have seventh fret on third string so that's going to be a D minor Okay, just gonna strum down over here and then you have third fret on fourth string third string and second string and you have sixth fret on the first string okay so and in between you can do a slap if you want okay that's optional and then so we've learned this before part, this part we've learned this before. You've got fifth fret on first string, sixth fret on second string, open on the fourth string, one, two, three. Okay, three times. And then, so this is going to be third fret on fifth string, and you have fifth fret on the first string, pick them together. Okay. And then third fret on the first string, so, and then third fret, so. Okay, and now a G minor chord. So you're gonna have a complete bar across all the strings on the third fret. Okay, and you're gonna have fifth fret on fifth string and fourth string. G minor chord, and then D minor, and then so open and open on first string and fifth string, and then one and open on the first string, so. And then third fret on second string and open on the fourth string. And then so third fret, second fret on third string, third fret on second string, and open on first string. So and then repeat everything all over again. So from the start. Same thing, same thing, again G minor, again D minor, and that completes our arrangement. Okay, so in the very end, same thing, open on fifth string and first string, first fret on first string, open on first string, and then D minor, just gonna strum over there. Open on fifth string, open on fourth string, second fret on third string, and third fret on second string. You're not gonna play the first string, okay? So you can do it with your index finger just like that, or you can do the flamenco technique like that. Okay? Now, 
if you want to extend the arrangement, you can play the whole arrangement all over again. Okay, so you can basically play the whole thing one more time if you want. In the official version, it's only played, the whole arrangement is played just once, which makes it um, to about 1 minute 30 seconds, 1 minute 40 seconds, or 2 minutes. But if you want to extend the arrangement, you know, make it longer, then you can play everything all over again. So that is it for Pirates of the Caribbean theme song on fingerstyle guitar. I hope you liked it. Make sure to check out more fingerstyle guitar lessons in my channel. There are lots of them. And I have a complete playlist dedicated to that. And uh, yeah, that is it for today. Thanks for all your support. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.